Hey guys, this is the Italian Army Alpini backpack. It's a canvas backpack. Um, I had something like this, but much older. It was my dad's military backpack. So you can imagine, it was about 40 years old. This one I got as a gift from Sepp and Detlef when they were here. They brought me this. This is the third time I'm out with this backpack. First two times I just loaded it up for a hike because I have to admit I would have never bought something like this for myself and my main concern with that was how will it carry and to my surprise this backpack carries like it was made for me <laughs> with a t-shirt and a fleece and a jacket sits very comfortably on my back um, unfortunately that's where it ends because these are extended to the maximum the straps so in winter I probably would need to adjust that if I want to wear thicker clothing but like this it's very comfortable and even with just a t-shirt on it does not hurt you see the straps are not that padded like we're used to the new rucksacks but these do not hurt my shoulders um, at all. I'm really, really impressed. And what I really like about it as well, well, the color and the material. This is not some nylon that you will catch in a thorn and you get a rip in it. No, this is durable. Amazing. Sep, that left. Thank you so much, my friends. I'm going to show you how it looks on the inside and a few things I got. Even though the ground is dry, I put a, an old shamog under the backpack just to keep it off the ground. Now, I really like the backpack. I have a bunch of stuff in here that's not really meant to be for a day trip or for a hike or anything. It's just meant to mimic the weight that I would carry on a regular hike. In here I have two liters of water in half a liter water bottles, like this one that I'm currently drinking out. Um, these pockets are really nice. I'm going to show you the other one. This is also where I kept the shamag on top. I'm going to show you this pocket. Um, you have this uh, cord right here that you can undo a bit and you will get a really, really big pocket. Let me do that for you. Uh, didn't need to take it out, but there you go. This is a lot of room. So if you really need the space, you can I think you can fit a two and a half liter water bottle in here with no problem. Sweet, very, very sweet. Now, oh, I'm not gonna put this back. The nice part about this, uh, these outside pockets, the material, the material on the inside is rubberized. There's, I think, a sheet of rubber stuck to the canvas. Really cool, and you have this Velcro, so when you close the pocket, it's going to stay closed and protect even more from the rain. I really like that. I think it's a nice touch. That's the way they should make them. Now, these buckles here are all metal. Some people replace them with um, those plastic buckles you can just click here and they open. I have on my belt. Uh, I'm, I don't intend to do that. However, today I put my jacket on the inside flap shoe when I was uh, down in the valley. It was sunny and very warm. And this little ring here, um, well, it, it bent really bad. Uh, luckily for me, today I'm also testing my Leatherman Freestyle. 
and I bend that back, no problem. This wire is not as tough as it should be. But, here, if I'm pulling on the flap, no way this is gonna come off, even if I don't have the belt with this D ring, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, I have to depress it and then get it out. Really nice system, I like uh, metal clasps. But I will look for something uh, better, stronger, to replace this. It might get lost, um, you know, when you walk through the bush and you have stuff on it, keep opening it up and closing it back together, it might get lost. Now, let me just open this. And you see this flap right here, also rubberized material. Great stuff. I really like this. In here, I just have a few things. Um, like I said, this is not uh, what I carry in my backpack. I do have my wildlife hatchet here. Now, a good idea is to put this right here. It fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. This is. It works with a bigger axe. It works with this one just fine. Put it like this. Close it, and it'll sit here. It does not bother you walk. Um, I chose not to because as, until I get to the woods, I have a short hike. If there are people there, I don't want to get looked at and asked, what are you going to do with an axe? Okay, now, also, you can lace this up, you know, pretty tight if you want to. I don't. I kind of leave it open. I just uh, actually lace this together just a bit. And I tie a knot that you've seen me tie on my hammock chair. This is um, the knot I tie for, for my, for my uh, shoelaces. I've seen it on the internet somewhere. It's a simple shoelace knot. You make the two loops and you go once and then again. Okay? This is a simple knot. However, this will not come undone unless you pull these ends. I've seen it on YouTube, like I said, I use it for the hammock chair, for this, for my shoelaces, and it's nice when you're out with somebody and they don't know any knots, not that I'm very knowledgeable about knots, um, but it's really easy for them to undo this knot, you know. Okay, now I have a few things here, you know, some biscuits, gloves, um, my first aid of course. And a few other things, I'm just going to pull them out. Okay, what I wanted to show you was the bottom of the backpack. I don't know if you can see inside there. It's uh, It's got a, like, a, like a plastic foil on the bottom, making it, well, water resistant. Yes, water might get through, I think, the back part, but I think that one has rubber in between the clothes. It's really thick. I'm not sure, however, the bottom, you can put this on the ground and your stuff will be protected, more than more so than with other backpacks. If you really want to waterproof this, uh, the simplest way is, I always have a trash bag with me, you just put this in there, put your stuff in it, and then you wrap it up. This is perfect to do that because there's just one big compartment and the, the pockets are pretty well protected. Now, let me just uh, put this back in. I'm going to put my hatchet back in, and by the way, you've seen it, I mean, it fits in there, wildlife hatchet, fits in here perfectly. I'm just going to pull this a bit tight and close the flap, because there's a bit more that I want to show you, and that is on the back, on the backpack and under it. So, I mean, this, uh, this goes pretty fast. No problem. I understand why some people would like the metal clasp, or the plastic clasp, but I do like metal. Okay, these are the straps, the shoulder straps. They're uh, very solidly built. And these D-rings and this clasp, everything is made out of metal, which I think is a really cool thing. I prefer metal to plastic. Now, 
these are not as well padded as we are used to. But like I said, for me, this is perfect. This is really, really perfect. You have this handle, which is handy, because that's how I'm gonna hang it up on a, on a tree. And <coughs> you have this thing here, which I have to admit, I don't know what it does, what you could put in here. Maybe um, a fleece. You could put a fleece in here, you know, let it dangle behind you. Um, yeah, it will be pretty secure, but I, honestly, I do not know what this is made for. I don't use it for anything. Like a lot of backpacks, this one has two straps under it to put something there. These are unfortunately too short. Now, what I've seen um, Lily do, a lone wolverine, she took some uh, cordura straps and just tied them up and now she, they're long enough and she can put a big wool blanket on there, which I thought was a good idea, so I'm probably gonna do that. If you do that, you could put a small tent here, you know, a tube tent, um, an isomat, a wool blanket, whatever you'd like to. Construction is really solid. I really, really like the backpack. Um, and I have to admit, I do like the color. I mean, it does match the pants, you know. Um, I'm trying also to make, um, to have a more traditional kit. And this one fits in and just, just hits the spot. So once again, Sepp Detlef, thank you very much, my friends. What a great gift. Like I said, I would have never bought this for myself because I was afraid it wouldn't be as comfortable as some other backpacks, but it is, and I intend to carry it a lot. And I don't think this is gonna fail me anytime soon. Guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, I hope this was useful to somebody. If you have any questions or comments, please ask me and I will answer them as soon as possible. And as always, I wish you all a great day.